hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video so in this tutorial today i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further i do let's get started so over here we are using a5 paper size for this tutorial today so now the next thing i'm going to do now then I'm going to apply a background color. So over here is the color code. Then I'm going to copy it. Like I said before, you can right click and then copy your text or you use Ctrl plus C to copy. So any of these two, then you can make use of it and copy your color code. Then now go to your solid color. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you can also right click here and then paste it so having done this one now so the next thing we are going to create now is the main design okay so then we are going to our resource file then over here i'm going to import this design here so as you can see then i will drag it up then change it to screen okay so having changed it to screen then we are going to apply the layer mask then go and select your brush or you press b on your keyboard or and over here this is your brush then begin to clean up this area okay so now you see this guideline that come up though we are going to apply a guideline then drag this one up and i'm going to increase the size like this then you drag it up it's okay so having done this one now so the next one i'm going to do then first we are going to bring out this guideline before you we continue so that we will not forget okay so go to view and select a new guideline and over here i'm going to use four percent then vertical and go back to view then use 96 percent and then the top which is horizontal we are going to use four percent then come back to the bottom and use 96 percent so something like this so having grade this one we can now manually bring the guideline using our mouse then something like this we have it okay so having done this one now so the next one then go back to your resource file and then import this one over here then you take it here and increase the size like this okay then rasterize it then select your magic tool and we are going to delete this one then ctrl plus d to deselect or you go to select under the menu and deselect so having graded great it like this so the next one we are going to select our ellipse tool and draw a cycle then position it over there then fix it inside then go back to our document and over here is the color code copy it then double click and ctrl plus v to paste so on this one now what we are going to do on this frame then we are going to change the the blending mode to lightening 
lighting okay so this is lighting having great this one then is our test so we are going to copy our test then and the first one we are going to copy is this one is this one the control plus c to copy it select your test tool then control plus v to paste and we are going to change the font and over here i'm going to use this font here so all this font is listed in the test document okay so i'm going to copy this one so this is the one i use so i'm going to make a copy of it then Ctrl plus V to paste. All right. Then I will position it at the top here. Then, so select the test. Go to select in the menu, select all and apply vertical alignment to centralize the test then go back and deselect so you will see that the line that appear will disappear so having done this one now so the next one then go back to your test and we are going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy the ctrl plus v to paste now increase the size bring it down like this then go back and copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select the test tool again and ctrl plus v to paste and on this test here we are going to change the font So I'm going to use this font here and over here I'm going to break the font then increase the font size and position it inside then you can reduce this font size then so I'm going back to my golden frame and the cycle. I will select it, then increase the size. Something like this. Okay. Then I'm going to increase the size of my test here. Then drag this one up. Then okay, over there it's all right. At the center. Okay, so having done this one now, the next one I'm going to do is to create another cycle. So then I'm going to come back here because I want this cycle to be under the test. Then I'm going to select the ellipse tool, then create another one. Something like this. Okay, then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J, or you drag it over here. And before I forgot, I'm going to change the color to white. Also, this one, I'm going to change the color to white. All right, so having done this one now, so the upper one here, I'm going to reduce it this way. So I'm going to start 
from the top here i will reduce it this way then increase the size of this one like this then click ok so have it done it this way so the next one i'm going to do i'm going to hold my control key then and click on this one then i can turn it off then select this one and over here select your eraser tool and click over here apply ok now you can delete this one okay so having deleted it then go back to your select under the menu and deselect the cycle now i'm going to clean off this area something like this then uh, after doing this one then i'm going to still select the cycle and what i'm going to do then is to reduce the size something like this then select your razor tool and i'm going to clean off this part then use your arrow key then to bring it down so okay we have created something like this so having done that one now so we are going to create another one so i will delete this one for now then select your ellipse tool again and we are going to create another one hold your shift key while you draw the cycle then bring the cycle to the center over here then now we are going to duplicate this one then reduce this one like this and now increase the one at the top i mean the top increase it like this okay so click ok after we are done with this so the next one now then we are going to follow the procedure we used before then hold your control key then you click on this one then you can turn it off then select this one then apply your eraser to click ok now we can now delete this one then go to select and deselect all right so what we are going to do next now then is to reduce this one like this then this is it so to show you this design so already this is the design we are working on over here so then this is how i started the design over here so this is how i started it and here is what we are going to create consigning the design over there all right so having done this one now so the next one we are going to do now then we are going to create a rent angle over here so the next one then we are going to create this shape you are seeing here we have the left and the right over here so we are going to do the same thing this place now so before we do it then we have to turn off this link you are seeing then select only this one then turn this one like this 
then let me see i think the number i use should be 91 okay then and this place 91 percent so something like this so having graded this one then i'm going to hold my shift key while dragging it up so that it will be in line with the text then the upper one then i can increase it like this then i'm going to copy the color code so over here this is the color code then i'm going to copy it so this one is red double click here then ctrl plus v to apply it so this is red now duplicate this one ctrl plus j or you drag it over here to make a duplicate and i'm going to reduce the size like this so you can reduce it either from the top like this then i'm going to zoom in Then go back to your test document and copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then double click here and Ctrl plus V to paste. So this one is darker. All right. Now apply your layer mask. Then select your gradient tool or you click here. Make sure that this place is black and white and this side over here is black. Then blend it this way. So having blended, so now we are going to copy this test here. Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool and Ctrl plus V to paste. And we are going to change the font and the font we are going to use here is this. Ctrl plus C to copy it, you right click and then copy, copy it. Now, I will drag this one over here. You can increase the size. Then select the test and the rent angle, apply vertical alignment. Now, I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then bring it down, go back to your test and copy this one select your test tool ctrl plus a to alight then ctrl plus v to paste now then increase the size and ctrl plus j to duplicate it I will turn this one off. I make a two duplicate. Then select your test to highlight it. Then I can use my keyboard to create this one. Something like this. Then position it over there. Then come back to your test. Then copy this one. And we have one copy here so now I'm going to bring this one down then select your test tool highlight it ctrl plus v to paste so on this one I'm going to reduce the size then duplicate this one ctrl plus j and drag it up over here now hold your shift key while you bring it down then select your test tool ctrl plus a to alight go to your test document and make a copy of this one now ctrl plus v to paste okay so having done this one now so the next one we are going to duplicate this one then drag it down here to make a duplicate then take it up and over here you bring it down then highlight it 
and I'm going to type so this is March March 2024 so I will cut it short like this then select this one then hold your shift key then select this one now you can increase the tests okay all right so having done this one now then you can see we have what is here already okay then what if you notice you notice that the size of this one is too much so what i'm going to do i'm going to select this one hold your shift key while you select this one then you bring it down like this all right then select this one hold your shift key then while you select all and use your arrow key to bring it down okay so you will have something like this now after this one now the next one we are going to create this cycle you are seeing here all right then go to your ellipse tool then select cycle and hold your shift key while you draw a cycle over here then position it somewhere like this okay and on this one we are going to apply a gradient overlay color so here is the color i'm going to use and over here is the gradient so you can use the color from here then without wasting time then i'm going to click okay well before then then i'm going to see show you that the angle is zero and the scale is 100 so opacity is 100 and i'm using the blending mode on normal okay then i'm going to duplicate this one Control plus j to duplicate so before then drag it down here you duplicate it then now so i'm going to my property over here then so on this one i'm going to apply a stroke color then give it a white background and increase the stroke by four percent then it will give you the white line over there okay so the next one now then we are going to to enter the team so you can see the team here then select your test tool and over here then we are going to copy the team ctrl plus v to paste and this is the font we are using now bring it over here so zoom in then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste and we are going to change the font to this one then increase it then what i'm going to do now i'm going to then close this character spacing by either 80 percent is okay that is minus 80 percent then go back to your test and i'm going to keep that one for now then select this one select your test tool the ctrl plus v to paste and over here i'm going to make use of this font here so i'm going to copy it then go to your font and i'm going to paste it and apply it now come over here then you remove the character spacing by zero percent and increase the size 
then I'll position it around here. So having done this one, then I will increase it again. Okay. So now, then I'm going to draw another cycle over here. Then change the color to black. And I'm going to make a copy of this one. Then select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the font to I think I'm going to use this one. A vertical contest. Then I'm going to copy it. Then go to your font and Ctrl plus V to paste or it's over here. Then now we change it to bold. Now then I'm going to drag it up and position it over here. Then select this cycle and the test apply i mean vertical alignment to centralize it okay then we are going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and we are going to change the font to this one here now bring it yeah and position it while you reduce the font size okay so this is what we have there so as you can see okay now we are going to reduce the size so by doing so we are going to select this one hold your shift key then and click on this then you group it so that you can easily adjust it so having done this one the next one we are going to do now then is this image so we are going to bring this image now and um, on this image then the first one we are going to import is this one then you reduce the size like this then I'll position it over here it's okay then follow by this one okay now then I'm going to import this one reduce the size then position it this way then the next one is this then go back to your documents and then um, i'm going to bring this one Then this way, set them properly so that it will be equal like this. Then, and the other one is this one. Then this one is over here. And the other one is this one. Then I'm going to flip it this way. So one thing you should know about this picture is that the quality is very bad. And I encourage you that if you want to design for printing or for a client, please don't use a picture like this. Make sure that you have a higher resolution for your design. All right. So we are done with the this one and so what i'm going to do is to reduce the size of this one okay like this is okay 
then i'll bring it back so the next thing we are going to do concerning this now then is that all this image you are seeing is very dark so we are going to bright bright it so how are we going to bright it now then go to your image on the menu bar then select adjustment and brightness then i'm going to increase it to somewhere 64 then also apply the constructs then okay then the next one then is going to be this one then select your adjustment brightness and construct now increase it it's okay then follow by this one then go to your image adjustment and the brightness increase it this way it's okay then add this one and this one then go back apply the same thing okay then increase this one to apply and make sure that the image come out well so and the last one is the main subject over there so we are going to increase it brighten it this way then add salt and sugar to it something like this it's okay all right so have we done this one as you can see now though so the next one we are going to do then we are going to select all this one then and group it so you can click here to group it or ctrl plus g to group so having done this one so the next one we are going to do then we are going to apply the dates before we continue on the other one so now our date is this one over there so we are going to create a rectangle now something like this then zoom in now okay it's okay like that sorry then go to your test documents and we are going to copy this one now so the one we are going to copy is this ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and ctrl plus v to paste then change the font to this one here this is the font we are going to use and the bag color the font color should be black as you we all see over there now we are going to reduce the size something like this then ctrl plus j to duplicate then you bring it down select the test to ctrl plus a to alight and over here we are going to copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste then increase the size then you position it at the center and copy this one select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste and on this one we are going to change the font color to red then hold your ctrl key while you select the rent angle now apply vertical alignment so this is what you will get like what is here 
okay so i leave a test there so i'm going to add that so which is going to be daily Now that we have done with that one, so I'm going to reduce the size of the rent angle. Okay, then I'm going to duplicate this rent angle over here. Ctrl plus J to duplicate, then take it above this one and bring it down. Then give it a space like this. Then, so you can see how this one is now. So we are going to make our own just like that then bring this one over here and this one should go there so um so it's more than that then increase it over there so then i will bring this one down to this position and this one i'm going to group this one then hold your shift key while you bring it down this way then come over here and uh, we are going to copy this one over there ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and ctrl plus v to paste then change the color to black and change the font to a vertical contest now bring it over here and drag it to the top the next one then reduce the font size then you position it and uh, increase the size now we are going to open the character spacing by nine percent increase it let it open eleven percent it's okay So you can see this one, then it's bold and and it's right. The alignment is right. So we are going to select this one, select the test tool, then apply right alignment. Then you bring it back to this position. And the font we are going to make it bold then something like this okay so having done this one and the next one we are going to do then is to group it together now that we have grouped it so the next one is to bring the names of these ministers all right then go back to your test document and we are going to make a copy of this name here select your test to then go back to this position then come to the top here and click here to paste ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to use this font on the name Then I'm going to break this one down and use left alignment. Then the character spacing, then reduce it. Okay. And the font, change it to white. Then I'm going to change the font there. I think the font I use there is blue melody okay 
so it's blue melody now i'm going to reduce the size then let me zoom it first so that i will see the outcome of it before i continue on reducing the size so i think this is okay then increase the size and um, on this test here i'm going to apply a little drop shadow then reduce the distance three percent and the size to four percent so this is okay then the character spacing increase it by 12 percent it's okay now i'm going to duplicate this one then bring this one over here and ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to highlight it ctrl plus v to paste then make a copy of this one ctrl plus j to copy then you bring this one over here highlight it ctrl plus c to copy ctrl plus v to paste then also make a duplicate of this one and i'm going to position this one over here then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then highlight it and ctrl plus v to paste so before i continue then come back here then select your rent angle and over here i'm going to draw a rent angle and i'm going to make a copy of this test here so i mean the color so this color i select a color from this shirt here or this one so anyone then you can adjust it so that is what i did and reduce the opacity to something like 91 percent okay then the name reduce the size of the name something like this okay then i'm going to reduce the opacity right so now i'm going to select this one then duplicate it and bring it over here then on this one now i'm going to increase the test i mean the rent angle then and copy this one over here the ctrl plus c to copy and then select your test to highlight it and ctrl plus v to paste so on this one then select the rent angle hold your shift key like this now select the test and fix the test inside so this is it now use your arrow key then to bring it down this way and this name over here i'm going to reduce the size then this one reduce it all right so the, the next one we are going to do now then is the background so we are going to select the background over here and the first one we are going to bring this one then take it up over here 
reduce the size like this position it like this okay then so on this one now um, then we are going to change the bloody mode to overlay then select your i mean apply your layer mask then select your bloody mode and then apply it something like this okay so now go back to your background and we are going to import this one over here then bring it to this position then go to your filter select blur then gaussian blur and we are going to make use of 15.3 something like this then change the bloody mode to overlay then it will give you something like this all right so the next one now then come over here then go to your resource file and import this one then reduce the size then bring it over here something over here okay then go to your blending mode and change it to hard light now reduce the opacity to 47 percent it's okay then apply your layer mask you can select your brush or your gradient to while you blend the top and over here so that is it now zoom in to see the outcome of it so as you can see that is how we great this design over here all right so then this one we are going to bring it down this worship image we are going to bring it down so that the other image will also appear so this is it so the last thing we are going to import now is the lights so we are going to import this light so this one will come over here reduce the size then change it to screen and the last one is going to be this one then increase the size like this i'm going to duplicate it and this one position it over here then this test here we are going to apply character spacing by 80 percent is okay okay now we are going to increase it so that it will come out bold all right so something like this so that is all for this tutorial thank you so much for following remember to subscribe and share and the other things again don't forget to follow my membership channel follow now so that you benefit from it and if you want to order any of my designs so you can go to my father account the link is in the descriptions order any of your design then and the second one again is i use tubebody to optimize my channel so if you want to create a tubebody account to optimize any of your social media channel then the link is provided in the descriptions then go there 
and then create your own account using the link including fiverr account if you want to create a fiverr account the link is there so order your flyer now for don't forget to subscribe and share